Hello everyone and welcome back to Medieval 2 Total War Kingdoms with the Welsh, where we are making very good progress against the Scottish. I intend to take them out this turn, not this turn, but this episode, and then push on to the Norwegians. So I think I've still only got three or four settlements. Uh, depends who's taken Sky. Um, but the Norwegians might prove difficult. Hopefully the Irish can help us out here in Castletown. But initially, we're just going to start moving towards all these major Scottish towns remaining. But there's not much we can do this turn anymore. What I do want to do is start working on a fleet. Because we're going to need a fleet to transport some troops over to all these outlying islands. So let's get a fleet started up at Inverlochy. And Dumfries and Edinburgh are a little bit grumpy. But we can just lower their tax rate and they should be more than fine. Dumfries is already on a low, but that's okay. Dumfries, we can get some Highland Pikemen. I'm not going to say no to that. Because um, we need to just wait for our car. We've got Inverlochy, we've got Sterling. And then we've got Carlisle, which we can also use some, for some recruitment. Uh, I'm just going to get a chapel down to help convert this. Oh, this place is already quite Welsh in Carlisle, that's okay. But we've only just converted Carlisle over to castles. So it's not going to have that much to go on so far. I'm not sure we need stables. I'll go for a drill square just to keep pushing the amount of infantry we can get out. It's really infantry is the bit that we're struggling with at the moment. Lancaster, you're all going to be another big recruitment hub for us. We can get a gunsmith there. It's not that useful. Uh, take the barracks there. That's fine. And possibly Carnarvon as well could do some, some things. Carnarvon we can start recruiting an army here ready to go. So we'll get a couple of Sethwear here. We can also use some of our nice guns. A cool Varen. Type of bombard and fearsome piece of artillery first used in Germany. Sure, that sounds fun. Although it does take a little bit of time to replenish. That's okay. I'm more than happy for that to go ahead, and we'll end the turn. Got a lot of troop movements going on. We do have that kind of general who's dealing with all the rebels. We might eventually move him on to active campaign duty against maybe the Norwegians, depending. The Irish look to be pretty strong. They're definitely going to be a tough nut to take out, especially if they've just landed another major army there at Castletown. It looks like they are about to invade pretty soon. Scottish Merchant moving down. We might be able to pick him off if he's fairly low level. Scottish Fleet moving off and Scottish Diplomats trying to do something useful but I'm not sure they're going to manage. Uh, and we have a Thieves Guild of Perth. I'm happy with that. And the most of our discussion is us. Wonderful. And nothing else major there. But a lot of construction done this time. Okay, York has got its large stone wall upgrade. We get a warehouse, that would really help with the trade, I think. Yeah, let's get a warehouse there. It's expensive, but it'll be worth it. Newcastle upon Tyne has got a city watch. Uh, Newcastle upon Tyne, you can just pave roads, get people to the front line quicker. Dumfries has got a town guard. I'm not sure I can invest anything else in you for the time being. Sterling's got crop rotation. Uh, there's not much we can do until we get you higher growth so we have to leave you for now oh highland archers they're fine we've got our better archers uh inverlochy has got a small chapel so inverlochy get a blacksmith down so we can get some armored troops out of your place excellent okay recruitment we're doing pretty well on kind of it's going to start training new army you can take out this fort with fairly fair ease i would say 17 men lost. I think I would have lost more if I'd actually tried that myself, to be honest with you. Victory. So, we're just going to merge what we can. Victory. And we're going to push straight on to Inverness. That's going to be a harder fight. Yes, sir. What's actually here? Oh god. Highland nobles, two noble pikemen, highlanders, three feudal knights, and a noble swordsman. Goodness me, they've been training up there in Inverness. That's gonna be a hard one to. That's gonna be a hard, tough nut to crack. Uh, let's move you up here. Keep an eye on Wick. Goodness me, Inverness we have to deal with. Uh, we don't really have any major in 
an army that we can send up there to support. We can send these two up to Inverness from Inverlochy. Can't do any more recruitment there for the time being. I don't suppose you can get any mercenaries here. You can get some more crossbow. We don't need more range, that's the problem. Range is not the issue. You could go support. But I do also want you to go kind of go take out uh, Aberdeen. We might be able to go to Aberdeen with some ra really random troops we can just get from somewhere else. We're just going <laughs> to grab some troops from wherever we can. And it's going to go into this terrible commander here. These three troops. You'll take some more Gallag life, that's fine. And take these two units of crossbowmen. And push on Aberdeen. You know, there should be more than enough unless they reinforce very quickly. King Llewellyn is going to push up to Inverness because we're going to struggle there. That is a disgusting fight and we're not going to be able to take it in, in Inverness. Oh, I'd love to be able to prompt a, a Sally out but that may not happen. Inverlochy, you can't do any more recruitment for the time being. Dunstaffan Age, can you recruit? You can't recruit, you can repair though. It's only cast ball maker, but it's better than nothing. Sterling can start getting some troops out, but not very good ones. You are kind of... Oh yeah, you're a terrible person. You know what? We'll leave you in Lancaster. We'll leave you in Lancaster. We can do, we can do something there. Lancaster can just start doing some recruitment for us. Not that we have many funds at the moment. Uh, I'm intrigued to see what will happen here with the Irish and Norwegians kind of going at it. Can't do much more there. We can send another unit of archers up to help Prince de Fid, but I think he's okay. I'd love if they would sally out, because eight turns is a long time to wait for a siege. It's a really long time to wait for a siege. Hmm. Command me, sire. And we do not have much of a front line, that's the problem I have at the moment. Need someone removed, sir. Uh, let's go... Maybe assassinate the Scottish faction. Oh goodness me, you're hard to kill. Um, who else can we go kill that's useful? You can go kill someone. I did see a Scottish assassin around somewhere. Uh, just go take out this merchant. Just drain his war chest. Oh, really? Assassin dies in action. He was a really good assassin. That's unfortunate. That's incredibly unfortunate. Okay. You can go and get a good amount of money off him, but it'll take you for absolutely forever. Only two or three turns. And this merchant is now very good. Only the age 29 as well. You're not bad either. You can go to have this chap here. 89%, I'm sure you'll manage. Okay. Right, you're pushing up to here. Oh, that is such a disgusting fight in the nest that we've got to deal with. Okay, there's not much we can do this turn. So again, we just get ourselves ready and secure. We've got a fight here, but I doubt the rebels will stay and stand their ground. No, they won't. By God's will, we have triumphed. We're going to have to really work on our military production to take on the Irish. But there we go. There's the fight at Castletown. And it looks like they'll take it. The Irish will take Castletown. So we only need to deal with the Norwegians up north, which is nice, and then we can focus entirely on our allies. They've, they've been allies for pretty much the entire game, so it's going to be sad to fight them, but only one person can rule, and it's going to be us. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Unless we are beaten back uh, in Vanessa. here. Ooh, that's interesting. That's really interesting. That those... Chaps have moved there, those soldiers. I might be able to make, I might be able to draw, draw them out to an open fight. In, on in an open engagement against those people from Inverness, I think I stand a much better chance. Yeah, here we go. This, oh, okay, the Norwegians come back. Uh, so the fight, oh, tell you what, the Norwegians are pushing into Scotland as well. 
they might be taking out might be taking out wing and there's also a lot of uh, Norwegian princesses out and about suitable husband proven commander drill masters not great but you'll do generals in general uh, war declared island Norway which is actually island okay right can I make this work An order. if I Attack Captain Stewart. To crush the Command me, Next turn, I might be able to get him to run back to Inverness, and I can use that for a draw out battle. I hope. I will take those Highlanders. They're not great, but they'll do the job. Construction of Rundle is now upgraded. It's too far away to really be useful for anything, but we'll give it a blacksmith. Perth has got a port. Perth is a bit more important. We can still get some recruitment out here. So I'll go for a city watch, because then I can get some more spears. Dun Stephanie just had its catapult make it repair, so we'll have a blacksmith. Okay, we're starting to get a little bit of recruitment available in Scotland, which is good, but still not much elsewhere. Problem is because we're draining so much at the moment, it's taking a while for things to return. I will train you. Uh, you're okay, but we'll go with your son, adopted son. Uh, you're going to push forward to Aberdeen this turn. It'd be great if you had some siege with you, but you don't. Yes. You can hire him mostly in Ribolt, but it's not worth it, really. We shall okay, uh, take a ram and a couple of ladders. Wall, with only Patrick Bassat in here, we should be able to manage. Shouldn't be too bad. Okay. We're going to pass the turn again, which is a lot of passing turns quickly, but I want to be able to... If I can get a draw-out fight against those people in Inverness, that's by far the better decision to make. Uh, let's see if our merchant can snipe off this merchant. Uh, looks like that was a failed... Oh no, that was a success. That was successful. Good. Opening a new trade lane, my lady. Uh, so that would have got our merchant even better, but also drained Scotland to some of their funds, which is good. Uh, but we might need to start thinking about what comes afterwards. Because both Ireland and Norway look very powerful in their own rights. Norway have got a, a few more forces than I expected, but I think Ireland will be able to drain their armies for the most part. Oh, here we go. Yes, thank you. Is that going to work? That might work, actually, if those soldiers move close enough. But they might also be slightly too far away to manage. Could do you, maybe. I just need to get one group of soldiers close enough. One group of soldiers close enough there. Oh my goodness, that's a big Norwegian army going for Wick. Okay, it looks like we're not going to get Wick. And the Norwegians are doing pretty well beating back the Irish of Castle Town. All due credit to them. Assassin's Guild at Cardiff? Sure, why not? Successful acquisition. You are now making 342 florins per turn. Uh, you have such a. Why are you. Oh, you were in Nottingham, weren't you? Okay, you're. I'm pushing you up to the front lines. We need you. Yes. Alliance announced between Stop. Norway and Scotland. Ugh. That's not good. Well, we're going to be taking. No way out of the equation anyway. So Carnarvon's got a drill square. Let's give it a barracks. Chester's got a town guard. We will give it a leather tanner. Carlisle's got a drill square. We will give it a burrier just to get some better archers out. Glasgow's got a city watch. We will give it a port. And Edinburgh's got a crop rotation. So we will give it a stone wall upgrade. Beautiful. Faction announcements. Oh, one of our spies has finally died. That's okay. Not a report. Trade increase being cut. Wonderful. Quit that, you damn schooner. Okay, if I attack this. Okay, lifting the siege. Never been born, sire. Okay. Yes, sire. An order. That's not working at the moment. What if I move you out of the way move. An order. and attack you? We shall slaughter them, my lord. No. Nothing, can stop us, Nothing at the moment. Me, 
Okay, take these traps out. Uh, we're going to execute them. Uh, okay, they've now pulled back. Okay, we're going. We're, we're going to just have to push Inverness as best we can. We're just going to have to push Inverness. I can't wait for eight turns, that's my only problem. What I'll probably do is conglomerate these into one major force. For now, just lift the siege. Who are we going to make the... Oh, we can't even move them across, can we? Okay. Just besiege. We'll likely go in with this army here, because it's actually got some infantry. Uh, and we'll let King Llewellyn go in under AI command. We've, we've got to give it a go. Uh, we can assault Aberdeen. Anything here that we need to know about? So there's only 21 of you. We should be okay. Let's fight this one out on the field, because this is a general. Even if it's just 21 heavy cavalry, that can be absolutely brutal if not played out right. So we're going to need to play it out as best we possibly can. Okay. Start deployment, start battle. And they're just they're going to wait in the centre, so that's fine. What we'll do, we'll just get the ram to go forward. We've got our long-range crossbowmen. We don't have any spearmen, which is the only thing, but we do have our Gallo-Glyke, which are heavy infantry. You can drop the ladders, as can you. We don't need them. This general is not the best, but we're just using him to take out one of these um, less important fights, or deal with one of these less important fights, I should say. So let's get our Gallo Glyph group together while this is happening, and same with our archers and our cavalry. Okay, 84%, and 6%, and the gates are down. Wonderful. Uh, drop the ram. Infantry, you now push in to, let's say, here. See if we can make you just go out a little bit thinner. Okay, that will have to do. Archers will come in right behind. There we go. And we'll get our cavalry to hold on the back. Just in case we need them. So we'll get time speeding up. The cavalry might charge the Gallag Life, which are already there. Hopefully not. But even one year of heavy Gallag Life should be able to hold out for the time being. It doesn't know they're going to be doing anything for the time being, which is good. So get our other unit in. And then we'll get archers to open fire. And we'll see what damage we can do. And there he is. He's actually in a good spot. We might be able to take him out straight away, which would be excellent. Okay, looks like they're going to charge us now. Wonderful. Charge! Come on, Gallag Life, do me proud. Your mercenaries. Blow your horn. We can get the cavalry involved if we want to. Oh, enemy general already lies dead. Good. Get the cavalry in there. Oh, that's the battle. That's fine. <laughs> so, Aberdeen is taken. Which is wonderful. We just need to push to Inverness. <laughs> Okay, uh, we are going to sack this. That should make them not like us, but it should be at least good enough. Uh, okay, we take Aberdeen, which is good. Let's get you out here just to start building me some watchtowers. Just so we have a little bit of better vis visibility. Shall I'd be actually rather happy if we could get these if we get this these Gallag like involved that'd be excellent in the uh, Siege of Inverness look at that like, these guys are no joke especially with their additional weapons noble pikemen, highlanders, feudal knights noble swordsmen goodness me any interesting mercenaries? Not really, no. Uh, let's get our agents moving up this way. And our spy can do the same. 
want to see what's going on there. You two can merge together. Inveloki, you get some recruitment, but not much. Uh, Sterling can start putting together something. But let's have a look down in Carnarvon, because we can start creating some form of army down here. So Spearmen, we'll take some male knights as well. In fact, we'll go for another cool Varen and some more cavalry. And Pembroke, you should be able to start You can get some Meridian Spearmen for me. Wonderful. Cardiff. Uh, we don't have the funds. That's okay. Pass the turn. See if we tear out that merchant. And we can. Wonderful. Opening a new trade lane, my liege. We are going to be going to war with Norway pretty soon because they are allied with Scotland. So I imagine they'll be pushing in momentarily. So for now, me and the Irish are best buds until there's no one else left to fight, and then it'll be a bitter fight to the death, I think. Between myself and Ireland. And there's a lot of forces that there at Downpatrick. Which I'm not thrilled by. Scotland just moving some fleets and some diplomats around. That's okay. Lots of Danish princesses, just Danish princesses everywhere. That's a big Danish force. Tomorrow, That's a big old Danish force. That's something we actually need to be hardly worried about, to be honest. Now, where's that Welsh army? Here he is. Ooh, most of my knights there. Okay, they're quite expensive, but I'll take them. And let's just keep getting these... I don't even know if we need to spend the time dealing with these little rebel forces, to be honest. Um, it might just be taking too much time. And we could usefully use this army. This is a good army. We could usefully use it on the front. It's going to take a long time to get anywhere. What we'll do, we'll send it to Chester or Lancaster. It's going to be picked up by boat. Um, we can do some recruitment at Gloucester now, wonderful. Three spearmen. We can go for some... That's not great. Okay, we'll build some cogs here. This will be our fleet down in this part of the world. Carnarvon, you can get some more spearmen. And give me another Sethweir as well. Uh, Gloucester, you are already recruiting. Pembroke, you are getting my boats. Shaftesbury could do some recruitment, surely. Yeah, you can get some more spearmen for me. And you guys can just stay there, you're not that useful. Arundel can get some spearmen as well. And we're going to conglomerate it all in the west to start dealing with Norway down in this part of the world. Uh, you guys can make it to Inverness this time, which is good. You can actually now, we can now move these chaps around slightly. So any good units we can move across to King the Wellen. And I'm going to move across any infantry as well. Any damaged units we will move to the secondary army. And we'll get these generals to come across. A bunch of archers in that army. That's going to be a m major arch army. Any troops we want to get rid of here? Get rid of those crossbow units. And I'll take as many of these archers as I can across. You can go across. You can go across. As can you. That's going to be the best army we've got to take out in the nest. We've got the supporting army of Captain Tagalni. Um... Let's see if we can go take out some friends. Oh, let's go take out this Danish princess. That way they can't continue to forge alliances. That's going to be good. Uh, looks like there's going to be a big fight there at Wick as well. But I think it's time. The battle for Inverness. This is going to be a tough one. Uh, that can go under AI control. We can go for a night attack that gives King Llewellyn an, an extra star, but that means we can't have... Captain Tagalni. If we can take the walls, I think we'll manage 
they have no range. But what they do have are walls which can give them range. Battle for Inverness, let's do it. We, shall utterly crap we come here with no peaceful intent, but ready for battle, determined to avenge our wrongs and set our country free. Well, unfortunately, William Wallace is dead. We killed him a few parts ago. Oh, I like a much better, clearer day than that. We probably also could have done with some better, <laughs> with a few bits of more siege. There we go. Let's listen to this speech. This is kind of the last major fight we can have against the Scottish. Before the battle, I call upon you all to pray for intercession of St. Michael, St. George, St. Barbara, St. Dunstan, St. Morris, and, just to be on the safe side, St. Jude and St. Drausinus. Further, if any of you have a black cat to hand, slay it so that the foul beast cannot bring us bad luck. I would have no bad luck in this battle. Those Scots over there need to be killed. That we do them a kindness, because that way they escape their shrieking, shrill and horrid wives. Women better suited to gutting fish than pleasing men. I didn't know King Llewellyn was so superstitious, but apparently he is. Right. We're going to need to get ourselves organised here. Cavalry together. Who's on the ladders? The Kellogg like it's not a bad idea, but there's only 60 of them. Okay, let's, first of all, let's get all our archers together. I'll get our range. Get them forward. Get our cavalry a little bit further forward. We do have a good amount of units. You are not going on the ram. I think we're not going to put the Highlanders on there either. Uh, so just drop the ram. We'll put a unit of spearmen on the ram. I'm happy with the Gallag like on the ladders. And then the rest of our infantry, which are not actively serving this initial charge, will go behind. Ready to go as soon as we need to. Right, how they sorted themselves out here. Highland Nobles there. So let's get our Gallag like on here to deal with them. They can run. Over here they have some noble pikemen, so again we'll get our Gallic like up there. Spearmen going here, and what we'll do... We'll get some other units involved as soon as we can in the process. We do have our friendly archers as well coming in under our captain from behind. I'm guessing they're going to come over... Are they going to push over to here? If they're going to push over to here, that's going to be a problem. It's going to be a real problem. Okay. Let's hope we can get on the walls with enough of our troops. And then we'll get some other troops coming in behind to support them. So, group one is going to be you lot. Group two will be you. The problem is the Gallag Life will take some damage here. And the Ram may not even make it, because this is a sturdy old castle. They're still going to make it into those reinforced gates up there as well, potentially. Because though any troops which are retreating will retreat that way. Okay, lads, I need you to get up on the walls quickly, please. You're already taking quite a lot of damage, these Gallag Life. I suppose they don't really have any shields. That's one of the issues. But get yourselves up on the walls. Get yourself up. Men have reached the walls. Good. Okay, group three is going here to help support. Group four is going up here to support them. We need to we need to take the walls. If we can take the walls, we might manage it. Oh, burning oil. Burning oil. How many of our men died there? Certainly a couple. Uh, goodness, mate. We might struggle. We really might struggle here, to be honest. Okay, group three. You're gonna go up here. Group four. You're gonna do your best to fight up there. The battering ram has done, battering its, ram has work. done its work. Now is the time for brave hearts 
Okay, they might pull back now, or they might charge. Ram is now down. We might be best off just going through the... I think we're just best off going through. You know what, go for it. Group, charge. Go, 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 go. If we tell these cavalry, we might be okay. Just get through there. I'll just push to here. Oh, that's a lot of burning oil, though. We've captured the enemy walls. That might buy us some time. Take out this cavalry. Oh, Ellen, blow your horn. We're going to need it. How are we doing up here? Highland nobles. Goodness me, I think they massacred some of our troops there. <laughs> Drop that round, what are you doing? Okay. How are we doing? We have we have troops. But we need to we need to deal with this this ram to be honest. Okay, archers, I need you to get involved one way or another. Go go go. Fight for fight. And our the problem is our other archers won't join the fight until we make enough progress here. Come on, King Llewellyn, I need to do some good work here. Archers, are you doing actually any good work here? Um, you can go off skirmish mode, we need... Oh, okay, you can get up on the walls now. Uh, you get up here. Archers, go, go, go. Any archers that can possibly get on the walls, get on the walls. Because that means we can get some r high range above them, and that's important. So we'll get some of our archers moving. Okay, we've got one unit of feudal right knights breaking. This is good. Charge them. Charge them, charge them, charge them. Go, 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 go. Catch them out of place if we can. You guys are going to get up here if we can. Those Highlanders are blooming miles away, they're never going to be able to do much here. Victory is almost a certainty, but we're going to take a huge amount of losses here for sure. Okay, infantry keep pushing. We've got those never all good, we've got those guys routing now. Um, right, we'll get our archers inside. They're pushing back. Did our ram survive? It's damaged, but it's survived, that's good. Because we're going to need to get one unit of fairly undamaged unit. Let's say these Highlanders. You're going to disengage. You're going to disengage and go get the ram for me. This infantry is going to push forward. See how there's noble spearmen if we can. What we'll do, we'll get our archers over here. And we'll get our king in as well. Get all our infantry back together again, apart from the guys who are on the ram. Which I think is you lot, yeah. So you guys, we're going to get you together. And... It'd be great when we can take those walls. Okay. We're doing okay, but we're taking some losses. <laughs> we're going to have to seriously recuperate after the, this battle for Inverness. Okay. Infantry, get yourselves over here. Archers, get yourselves set up as well. Archers can go here. Cavalry, get yourselves involved as well. Okay. We're managing, we're managing. This feels like one of the last major engagements, to be honest. Did you pick up the ram? Seize the ram, please. You tell me you can't use the ram. I need you to pick up the ram, please. It's important. If you can't take the ram, we're going to have issues. Can someone else take the ram? What about, can you take the ram, these archers here? Uh, that infantry is too close. Okay, let's pull that infantry back. Pull the infantry back, pull the infantry back. Are we really having issues with the ram here? This is unfortunate. There's a ram over here. You guys, run back and get me the ram. 
I know you've just made it all the way over. I'm so sorry that you have to run all the way back. But this ram we just can't pick up for some reason. Oh no, there we go. Okay, well, we'll, we'll give the backup ram anyway. That Seth is going to probably die, but we're going to see if we can go get this ram sorted. Break down the gates. Okay, we've got still a lot of feudal knights to deal with there. Some noble pikemen, some noble swordsmen, some highlanders. Thankfully they have no range, but they do have their towers. Uh, let's get these guys separated. You guys can push forward slightly. See if you have those highlanders. As soon as you're in range, you should be in range about here. Although you will take quite a few knocks. So maybe pull back slightly. But we do need that ram to make it to the walls for sure. If that ram doesn't make it, we're going to have issues. Okay. In fact, I'll just go after those noble swordsmen. Ram is doing okay for now. No, it, I had to jinx it, didn't I? Okay, you guys, bring the new ram in. <laughs> Otherwise, this might have to be a new siege for Inverness. Okay, pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. Pull back. We have this other ram. It's just going to take absolutely ages to get here because these guys are exhausted. We could get someone else to come take it, but that's okay. Hmm. We've got to get that ram down, otherwise we're not going to manage. I don't know if we're doing any damage to these noble swordsmen, to be honest, but these towers are going to keep dishing out damage. Get these guys firing as best as possible at these noble swordsmen. Uh, let's get these guys also firing up on the walls if we can. This is a bloody, bloody siege. Regardless of who wins this, this will be a, a tough undertaking. I don't know where these guys are going. don't know why you decided to do that. Um, you still have arrows, so I don't know why you're not just firing like a normal person. Okay. These guys are absolutely exhausted. <laughs> How are we doing? 27 to 46. We're getting there. Possibly should have got a little bit more siege before I came in to this engagement, but that's okay. Lessons learned for next time. I'm just not really looking forward to taking the Irish, to be honest. The Irish will be... Uh, a tough old call. We are starting to take out a few of these noble swordsmen, which is good. Because I don't mind the Highlanders, they're so low level that it's not going to be a problem. These guys have nearly made it inside, which is excellent. These spearmen can come take over the duties, I would say. So we'll get these spearmen to come take over the duties from these rather exhausted Highlanders. They've done their job just transporting the ram to the front, I would say. Okay, how many of these guys are left? Still 43. You guys, you still have some arrows. Get out of there, you're being slaughtered. Oh, this is, yeah, 30% of our troops so far versus their 50%. So this is by no means a one battle. Our troops are pretty exhausted and they're pretty battered. But we have three generals here, including the king and the heir. We're going to have to make it work somehow. You guys drop the ram, you've done your duty. Thank you very much. But we may still need you to fight. Um, these spearmen will pick up the ram in your stead and go for the gates. And we'll get these guys just to go a little bit far, further forward. I know you're exhausted. You might be able to still do some good work. If this ram doesn't make it, then my goodness knows. We're going to have to go for a secondary siege of Inverness. 
because yeah this is it's time to get a few more troops um, let's get our archers put in back now they've done what they can we don't want them to be attacked more than is necessary if we can help it we do need this we need this reinforced gate to go down with this ram I think if we take out this reinforced gate we can still manage it will be tough but we will be able to manage this ram has to make it. If this ram doesn't make it, we order the general withdrawal. These tower, these gatehouses here are tough. If it sets on fire, that will be a problem. But hopefully, we can make it. I imagine there will be boiling pitch coming down for us here as well. I'm hoping these spin will do a better job than. Okay, we've reached the gate. I think we'll be okay. Okay. Gates, gates have fallen. fallen and charge gentlemen I see no better option apart from just charging in there I, I, I do not see a better option apart from just charging the town center with all we've got even we might even get our archers involved we will commit our generals I think we're gonna have to Let's, get our, let's see if we can get our generals in the corner. If we can get our generals in the corner, that'd be good. But we need to deal with these noble pikemen first. So we may want to get our commanders in. Actually, let's not get our commanders in just yet. For now, stop. Let's get. Let's deal with these noble pikemen. Once we deal with these noble pikemen, we might be in a better spot. Men, men are winning the battle. battle. If we can okay, they're pulling this, back now. Okay. Get our infantry inside, charge the town centre. Again, some more issues of burning pitch. We're just going to have to deal with it. Okay. We'll get our generals in now, because they're pulling back. We can use our generals to flank. If we can stop these towers firing and negate these gatehouses, that'd be good. Seven Gallaglife, that's your job. That is your job is to take the, is to take the gates. So you're going to go separately now. And we're going to tear these feudal knights before they can pose any threats. Get our generals in, get them over the side here. So we can just do some flanking manoeuvres. 35% to 52%, still not great. But hopefully we can manage. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Okay. The enemy enemy baddie, they lost half their men. They've lost, lost more than that. But we've taken the gates now, which is good. Um, let's get our archers in here as well. Anyone who can fight is fighting at this point. And we're just going to replace this entire army, pretty much. I'm not sure much there's going to be much left to do to fight with. Oh, Lord, have oh no, who died? Who died? No, King Llewellyn! Oh no, mass route, mass route. Okay, they're panicking now. Fashion leader died. King Llewellyn dies in battle. Dear, commit all. My Lord, only half our force, only four, half our force remains. Do we order with the general withdrawal and get out? Okay, go pull back, pull back. Order the general withdrawal. We are getting out of here. We have, we do not have enough. Of, okay. Oh no! Go again. Go again. There's not that much of them left. We can push this. I know we've lost our general. We've lost King Llewellyn. Every, anyone who can wield a spear, who can wield a weapon, regardless of what weapon that is, push. Push the town centre with everything we have left. I think we will manage this, but it's going to come at a great cost. Um, let's get our generals out of there. Our generals can live to fight. Our remaining generals can live to fight another day, including Prince Dafid, who is now going to be the the general. We may as well commit the remaining generals' bodyguards here. We're in command, We're in command of the, the castle. castle. Goodness me, nearly fifty percent. Nearly fifty percent of our troops to deal with this bloody battle of Inverness. The slaughter at the gates. Take him out. Get it done. 
Um, no, General, General Skid out of there. All of Christendom will be awed by the victory we've won here today. I'm not sure. Killer own the killer has killed his final person. We take in the nest, but at a cost to both leader and general population. Our noble ruler has been slain by our most wretched enemy. Those who have failed our great leader should suffer our retribution, which should be... Oh, I'm still reading that. That's fine. Inverness, I'm actually going to just occupy you because I want to be able to recruit from here as soon as possible. Take an armourer. Fashion leader killed. New fashion leader, King Defid. King Defid, who's pretty good. Age 47. He's a bit of a soft judge, though. Any army routes and trade decrease. King the Wayne the Killer is noble and rule. He's dead. Who has. Be in that reminds me actually, who's become the faction heir? In his in Defid's stead, uh, Prince Philip. Where's Prince Philip at the moment? He's in Glasgow. Oh, goodness me, Perth is not happy. Okay, let's lower that down. Uh, this is going to be one of the problems with our general dying, with our king dying, is that we're going to have a bit of popularity issues across the empire. Shrewsbury is going to have to go down on its tax rate. Winchester is already low. It's eighty percent. We'll manage. London's fine. Canterbury's fine. Launceston is already on low tax rate. We should manage. Okay. Well, we've taken Inverness, but we have a very large Norwegian army bearing down on us. Edwin the Rothfell will get inside Inverness. Merge what we can here in Inverness. And get everyone else that we can inside. Um, whoever's too low in amount, we just have to get rid of them. We could retrain them, but it's taken them ages to get any Welsh troops inside here. Um, so let's just get rid of whoever we can. Get everyone we can inside of Vaness, merge them up, and we will have to get some retraining done. And await the Norwegians, who are not technically at war with yet, but we will be soon. Scotland only has Wick left, but even Wick is heavily defended. Goodness me, that was a fight and a half. I probably could have done that a lot better, but so be it. We'll leave things there for now. We didn't get as far into Scotland as I had hoped. We didn't get to Norway this time, but we dealt with Inverness, but at a cost to dear poor King Llewellyn, who has now passed away. Thank you so much for watching, more to come soon indeed. For now, take care, bye bye.